Hello friends, this is Sanjay here again. Well, I would like to discuss something very serious that's uh, acceptance of nudity in our culture. Well, India as far as I am concerned and my country is, we always accepted nudity in fine arts. That's very clear from the images that we see in our temples and our architecture in various places and that's thousands and thousands of years old and uh, acceptance of even erotic art in India yes we had a lot of acceptance you can see all kind of erotism in Khajurao, Konarak and many other temples in India so it was really traditionally accepted in India and there was no problem as such accepting nudity or erotic images in our holy place but this problem developed recently and this is because of lack of education in our system few orthodox people now are talking against nudity and which is not part of Indian culture definitely and that's what I seriously would like to talk about that this orthodox people even don't know what the history of India is and the parampara and the kind of uh, our culture has always accepted the Digambar uh, state of mind I mean Digambar, our Shiva was Digambar, Kali was Digambar and Jain always had a Digambar saint even I heard Buddha was also Digambar in his first few years of his life so Digambar is a state of your mind when you give up your uh, shame or lajja that we talk about because Digambar is very much accepted in our own culture and if I go to Europe well nudity is almost uh, accepted most of European countries and I find uh, very much ex uh, most of the galleries and the museum represent art which has got 70% of nude art. Well, purity and nudity are very closely attached because today there is a nature club around the globe and the nature club has members who accept nudity as the natural gift of God and nudity is really a natural gift of God. Clothes are all human made but then the question arises how you are cultured or civilized until you wear a cloth because the first level of civilization could be to you know accept clothes for our body to have uh, you know uh, this word shame came inside our mind but then we have lots of uh, things to talk about because it takes a lot of time if we, we like to debate about this particular issue it's a very big debate so before going to certain other aspects of nudity let me make it very clear that most of the artists enjoy freedom and freedom is inhibited with clothes so I do not see any problem with nudity but it's just your mindset there are a lot of things your mindset need to change the orthodox way of thinking is not a liberal and that will just be evaporated with time because a orthodox people should understand today that the generation next is not going to accept them so we are gradually becoming liberal and our mindset is becoming liberal so we have to become liberal to a certain extent to accept things the way it is and nudity in art for me is just a pure form of nature and a pure form of nature is always most beautiful thing so I don't feel there's any problem to accept nudity inside art but there are a lot of people who are thinking about even censoring art because they think that you know 
children coming inside the gallery and watching the nude paintings may have a problem in their mindset. I, th I think that's the problem with your mindset, not the children. Children will accept those things very easily because Generation Next is going to be smarter than you people. So, nudity should be accepted and there is no problem in accepting nudity unless you have a very very biased set of mindset thank you so much